What's going on you guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video we'll be kickstarting the Rust beginner series where we'll jump into all the fundamentals of this language and kind of like all the kind of how to's that will help when it comes to making software using Rust. So the first question is what is Rust? Now according to the official uh, Rust website which is rust-lang.org the way they put it is that Rust empowers everyone to build reliable and efficient software, which is definitely true. And hopefully you'll see that in the coming tutorials. So Rust compiles down into two main things, which is uh, machine code. And that's basically your binary executable files on your Linux and Mac uh, systems or your .exe files on Windows. The other thing it compiles down to is WebAssembly, which is somewhat kind of new, um, especially well compared to machine code in that it allows, or it's more like a, a, a an, an alternative, losing my words, it's an alternative to um, writing JavaScript in the browser, whereas with WebAssembly you can write, I think both, I think the two popular ones now are Rust and um, C++. So what can you build with Rust? The four main things uh, that I guess many of us are familiar with are command line interfaces, web servers, which you would write in, like you tend to write, I guess, in Python, PHP or Golang. With Rust, you get the huge advantage of it being very fast and high performance. Uh, also, uh, web apps, as mentioned earlier, with WebAssembly, you can write browser code that or code that will display in the browser. And lastly, which is a big surprise, is operating systems. So I think uh, Microsoft are changing a lot of their old Windows code into Rust, not all of it, but uh, many of the kind of low level code, uh, but given its performance. So I don't think like Microsoft are replacing the entire Windows um, operating system or changing that code into Rust, but it's definitely possible to write a operating system using the language. So why use it? There are two main things and that is speed and performance. So for a long time, the language C and C++ were kind of or held the duopoly on both these two factors. Now, Rust came along in 2010, I think, and really took the number one uh, place there as it's definitely like leagues ahead of both C++ and C in both these two areas. The other thing or the great thing with Rust is that it really allows you to unlock the true power of the hardware that you're using. So that's definitely a big plus. Um, another thing to note is that uh, according to Stack Overflow from 2016 up until 2020, they conducted a survey, survey on the most loved programming languages and Rust has come up as number one time and time again between 2016 and 2020. So I don't know how these surveys are conducted, but it's definitely telling of its uh, power and its influence that it's having within the programming industry. So now that we've had kind of like a very brief overview of what this language is, we'll go ahead and jump into how to install it, whether it be on Mac, Windows or Linux. So to get started with installing Rust, the first thing that you want to do is head over to the rust-lang.org website and in the navigation bar, you'll see the install link. So just head over to this page and it should look very similar to mine. And you will see the recommended way of installing your or installing Rust into your system. So I guess there's some like operating system detection here. In my case, uh, for Mac OS, it will just be using this command there. With Windows, there will probably be a installer that you have to inst that you have to download for 64-bit or 32-bit. And uh, one thing to point out, I think for Windows, you may need to configure your path. So I would go ahead and do that as that too. But for Mac OS and I guess for Linux as well, you'll see a command that's similar to this. So just copy that and head over to your terminal and just paste that in and then hit enter. So yeah, mine's pretty fast as I already have it downloaded, but uh, you should see an output like this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and proceed with the default installation. And you should end up with something like that. Rust is installed installed now great so rust comes with three things and also uh, before i forget 
the uh, once you install it, you may need to restart your terminal. So I'd just close it if I were you and then reopen it. And to ensure that everything's been installed properly, the first thing that you want to run is rust up dash dash version, hit enter, and you should see a message similar to mine. Your, yours may not be a rust up 1.24.2, as uh, yours may, I guess, depending on when you're watching it, you may have a different version. But rust up is the kind of version uh, manager for rust. So like, for example, if you want to check for updates, just do rust update and you'll see something like this. So in my case, I've got the latest one. The next thing you want to try, well, the next thing you want to run is rust C dash dash version. And uh, you should see something like this as well. And what, what Rust C is, is the compiler for Rust. So it's what compiles our Rust code down into machine code. And finally, you can run cargo dash dash version. And cargo is like our package manager. So if you've used Node or NPM, um, cargo is very similar to that in that it focuses on um, building our application and also handling the kind of third party dependencies that we rely on. So that's what that does. So yeah, once you get success manage messages or once you get the version numbers from this, which indicate that you've installed it properly, we can, or we can now go ahead and write our hello world application. So to get started with our hello world application, just jump over into your preferred text editor. I'm going to be using VS code. And one thing I just want to point out, if you are using VS code, there is this extension that I do recommend installing as it's good for linting and code completion when it comes to rust. So yeah, just install that and back into, so I've created one or oh, I'm in this directory called rust beginner and uh, in there just create a file called main.rs and the rs is the rust file extension and inside here just do fn and then main and then type in print ln with the exclamation mark and then hello world and then end that off with this semicolon as all statements in rust have to end with that so we'll go ahead and run this using the Rust compiler. And in order to do that, just type in Rust C and then main.rs. Hit enter. And you'll see this here in like my uh, directory, the main executable that's been created. So to run it, just do uh, period forward slash and then main. And you'll get the output, hello world. However, the thing is, is that we've used the Rust compiler. That's not the preferred way. I think many applications use Cargo as we looked at earlier. So what we'll do is we'll make use of that. So we can just go ahead and just delete these two files. And in order to create our Cargo project, so as we're inside this directory, all you have to type in is Cargo and then init. And you'll see all these files being generated, uh, git ignore, cargo tomol, um, and the git ignore file. And then here in main.rs, we can, uh, yeah, like it, by default, it creates this hello, world uh, this hello world application basically. And in order to run this, let's just clear that. Uh, we can go ahead and type in cargo build or run, sorry, and gives it a second. And there we go, hello world. So type in cargo run and you should see this output here. Now to build it like we did in the, with the Rust compiler, just type in cargo and then build. And you'll see within this target folder that's been created inside debug, you'll see the, this Rust beginner file that you can run and that will yeah do the exact same thing. So we can just do uh, period forward slash. Actually, let me just clear this. I think it's getting a bit messy. Period forward slash and then rust, uh, sorry, not rust and then target and debug. And finally rust beginner, 
like so. I hit enter and you'll see hello world. So this Rust beginner is like our binary executable, just like we had with the Rust compiler. However, this time, unlike uh, what we just did uh, earlier, is that we've used the cargo package manager that comes with Rust to create our project. And that's what we'll be using from here on out. But that essentially wraps up our like kind of basic over or brief overview of what the Rust language is, installing it, and also how to create our Rust project and run a Hello World application. But other than that, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and also subscribe. I have a Discord server, so if you have any recommendations or any feedback, please feel free to pop by there. But yeah, stay healthy, stay safe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.